Next, we're going to create a coin object. So, save. So in the hierarchy, pane, just create an empty game object, and we'll name that coin object. Coin object. Okay, then we're going to go into our sprite folder, and let's see, we need to inspect, find the coin. Two, three, four. We're going to select these four images that represent the animation of the coin spinning. Oops. One, two, three, four. And drag that onto our coin object. And we're going to put the animations in the animation folder. Animations, animations, and we're going to call this coin dash bin. Save that. Okay, then if we go under animations, we'll see we have coin spin and a coin object animation controller, which we'll move into the controllers folder. Nice and tidy. All right, next, select the coin object we're going to associate a sprite with that so it can be visible. So we go back to our split images. We'll just take this one. Different strategy here. Click on object, click on sprite, and find our representative coin image. Okay. Next, in the sprite renderer component of the coin object, we're going to select the sorting, rendering sorting layer of objects. And drag that. Now if we double click and drill in, we can see our coin here. Yeah, I'll transform that just as good practice. Okay. All right, we're not done with our coin object. Next, we're going to add a collider. This is going to enable us to detect when the player collides with the coin so he can pick it up. Um, so select the coin object, add component, circ, circ collider 2D. And we want to select is trigger. We don't want the player to be blocked uh, by a coin collider. And then we want to set the radius to 0.17. So it essentially wraps the perimeter of the coin nicely, fits. All right, then I'm going to save my game. Next, we want to add a new tag coin object can be picked up, which doesn't exist. So we want to go into the coin object tag, add tag, put the plus sign, and then the name is can be picked up. Save that. I can select coin object, we should see that we 
the amount of tag it can be picked up. Great. I think we're ready to prefab it. So finally, we're going to prefab the coin component. So just drag it into prefabs. Turns blue, good sign. Then you can select it back in the hierarchy and delete it. Save the game. And we're good for this video. See you in the next one.